Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're going to get going on part two of this uh, front side panel. And we see we have it off the hammer forms. And I had to leave this edge here, you know, bent straight up so we could get it off the form. And we'll just, I just started to lay it over a little bit and we'll continue to do that. I've just got a piece of three-quarter bar there because that's the thickness of the hammer forms. We're just going to use that as a backer so we get a nice sharp edge there and we'll bang that right down. Okay, so there's our edge, nice and sharp with the use of that three-quarter backer. So we're going to get uh, set up for bending the step and stuff, and um, i got to move the camera for that, so I'll be back with you in just a little bit, and we'll continue on. Okay, we're going to lay out for our bend on the press brake. We got to get that step bent up. And basically, we're going to bend from this point to this point right here. So we'll take a straight edge and I'll mark that in red so you can see it. Okay, now if we take and we square this up here with a bevel square, we'll get this set. If we set, if we set this to this angle here, and that's the slope of that angle coming down. That's going to be, now when this step gets bent up 90, everything needs to continue down here in a straight plane. So this needs to actually get bent back, this, this piece here. And this will tell us how much to bend it. So if we lay that up against there, you can see we got to bring that back quite a bit. So, we'll just knock that forward a little bit. get it we'll get it close with our with our bevel square and that gets us in the right area we still have to put a filler piece in here and after this is bent there's a piece that bridges from from here to here but we'll get those in afterwards so there's our bend line now we'll get set up and uh, and put that in the brake all right we're over at the press brake and we've got a set of dies that I cut specifically to do this they gotta be the right width and I cut those to the right width and I just do the sidestep with this set so we'll get this set up and I think I'll be able to show you okay let me get it turned on
Okay, there's our piece. Kind of tight in here, but there's our step bent up. And now we'll get the other side bent. Okay, here's our panel standing up. I just got it propped up with that piece of bar stock uh, with the step bent. And now we need to get that hole laid out in there, the drain hole. So I've got another little template I can show you. Okay, that's just a piece that I use. It's got the slot in it where the where the drain hole goes and then it lines up everywhere else around the panel so what I'm going to do is put a little layout die on the panel right there get the panel lined up on both and uh, we'll drill some holes in the corners and connect that with the with the die grinder there with a, with a wheel on it and I'll get going on that and we'll get that far and then I'll come right back with you and show you where we're at and how we get that that um, that drain hole bent around so I'll, I'll get this laid out and be right back with you okay I've got the layout fluid on there and we're waiting for that to dry and I'm going to show you a couple little pieces that go along with this step this is a little three-quarter inch wide piece of 18 gauge with a 3 8 hole in it and it gets bent in an area right here and it'll, it'll sit like this and get bent it'll get bent inside the step here so that'll, that'll lay like that and it'll be 90 degrees in there so um, they offset the hole and I don't even know why the holes in there but on the passenger side the hole is low Now on the driver's side, this is going to go in like this and the hole is going to be high. So that will go in there and it will lay just like that and it will be bent up 90 degrees. It will spot weld to the step here and it will spot weld to the panel right there. And that's how this gap gets taken care of with this little, with this little piece. And then in the front, get you in there. And this little gap right here, there's another little piece. This is what it starts out looking like. It's still got some dye on it, but that's what it starts out looking like. And then it gets bent, kind of on an angle like that. And then that's going to fit in there. I think I got it backwards, but it's going to fit in there and close off this gap right here. So it gets one of these in the corner. And it gets one of those other ones with the hole in it down the other side. And that's uh, and it gets spot welded to the step and, and, the, and the other corner there after it gets bent. And um, those are two little items that are that make a step look authentic. And, and that's what was in there from the factory. So we're going to duplicate it and put it right back in there. Okay, I've got all my little pieces made here. And this is the passenger side with the hole to the bottom. That's going to fit in there like that. It's spot welded here and to the step there. And this is what one of these looks like. And that's going to basically go in that area and close that area off. Something like that. But it'll be on the inside. It'll get spot welded here and here. And that's where your bolt goes through for your fender. So that backs it up real nice and gives it some strength. So that'll go in there. And same thing on this side. I got this one made for here, and again on the driver's side, the hole is to the top, and I'll get spot welded right in like that. 
So we got those done and the dye seems to be drying pretty good. Another super humid day. Can't seem to catch a break in the weather. But um, I think we could lay the panel on that and get those scribed out now. Okay, we just got this fit on here uh, where it goes and we're just going to scribe this out we'll do the other side too we'll come in here and we'll drill a hole here and a hole here and then we'll take this we'll take this cutoff wheel and we'll connect those lines and and then I'll show you the, the little jig I got for bending that in. So let me get this other one laid out and drilled out and connected and we'll come back and there'll be a hole in both panels. Okay, I've got the holes cut in both of them. And I've got my jig clamped on the bottom. Let me show you that. That's just a piece of three quarter stock and I milled a slot out of it, the exact size of the slot, centered it over our cutout, and our cutout, I didn't even clean that up or anything because we'll clean that up afterwards. And I've got everything sitting solid on this 4x4 four four block. Make sure you can see that. And we're going to go over that with a flat faced hammer. And uh, I think you can see this okay. Lost one clamp. Hang in there. Uh, we'll take our plastic hammer. You can pick that up. Um, you see that we're getting this perfect shape of the form underneath. I hope you can see that in the camera. But it's um, that's what we're going to use as a as a hammer form, and we're just going to bang into it. So once we get started, we can move the clamps around. But for now, we need them. Okay, so we're just going to keep hammering that until it takes the shape we want. We want to fold the sides and all around there perfectly. So, let me show you another way you can do it. Uh, this is an old, this is an old uh, tool I used to use. That's just a solid piece of oak. And that's the rough shape. I used to just jam these in there and, and, um, and do them real quick. And I've got some tooling also for the pole max. I'll do it in one shot. But uh, I just want to show you guys a way you could do it by hand if you need to. Um, so let me make a little more room and get these clamps flipped around. I'll be right back with you. Okay, I think you can see it's taking the shape real nice of that hammer form. I hope you can see that okay. And uh, I'll show you another hammer. I, mean, I kind of cut that one. Uh, a long time ago to kind of get in there and start shaping that There's a bunch of different ways to do it. I'm just trying to trying to give you guys an idea that Any way you can get that metal beat in that hammer form is going to work for you The sides aren't a problem, it's these, it's these ends because you really got to stretch it. Yeah, you that material stretching in there. So if it's giving you some trouble, you take the end of a hammer like this and get in there and stretch those out.
that's the basic idea. You just want to keep tapping around, tapping around, tapping around until you get it fitting perfect on your hammer form. So I'm going to keep picking away at this and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, here's a shot of the other side. And you can see it's coming in there nicely. We've just got a little more stretching to do on the ends and get it in that top left corner a little better. So we'll just keep working on it and, and little by little keep stretching it out, stretching it out and get it wrapped right around that hammer form. Okay, here's our drain hole put in. We didn't distort the metal any, we just kind of hammered it in there and kept hammering and hammering and stretching it little by little. You don't want to take it all at once. If you look in your original Jeep, you'll see the inside, they just kind of blew it through anyway and any way they could and didn't really care about it. And usually they're kind of jagged. And we kind of relived a little bit of that here. So what you're concerned about is you want your, your flange to be 90 degrees to this, this surface here. So you want that nice and sharp. And you can see, I think you can see we're nice and sharp all around there because we had that, that real sharp steel hammer form that we hammered into. So that's what the drain hole looks like. This lower edge will be, th this edge here will be in a little indent in the floor. So water will drain right out of there. The floor will sit in here and have a little indent right where this drain hole is. And I'll show you that when we start doing that. Under this edge, it gets another piece of channel. Um, and that will come up. It will follow this line. It will come up and it will hit right into the cowl support. It will be in here. <coughs> and it will hit right into that. We still got to make all our reinforcements for the front panels. We've got to make them for the rear panels, and I just made a rear panel for a guy, and I made all the under channel reinforcement, and uh, couldn't get the camera working, so I wasn't able to film any of that. But when we get to that point, I'll show you again how I make all this curved channel here that goes underneath here and all around the back and stuff. So um, that's what that's going to look like. We'll get these little pieces spot welded in. Uh, and over here, this will be way late in the project, we'll, we'll put some inserts in here in, in this flange to catch the fender, but, but that's not going to be for a while. Um, but that's your basic... That's your basic side panel. With the drain hole in the proper place. This edge here... This will get notched in this area and a little bend put on that. But again, that's going to be later on when we're assembling the body on the frame. Uh, so this will get us where we need to be right now. And um, I think that, that pretty much wraps it up. So uh, feel free to subscribe or comment and let me know what you think. Give me some feedback on, on what you might like to see next. We still got to get that CJ3B dug out from that barn. There's quite a bit of stuff in the way. I've got all the sawmill track in there in front of it. But we're going to move all that stuff, get the 3B out, start tearing that body down. And we're going to use the cowl and um, marry it into the body we're building here. So we'll try and get that done when the weather cools down a bit. I did not get the rear floor or any of that stuff sandblasted yet because... The weather has been rainy and, and the humidity is terrible still, but as soon as it cools down, we will get back on the rear floor and put the hat channels in and, and, and finish the spot welding and, and, and get all that done. So, stay tuned. We're continuing on with the build, and we'll see you next time.